G'day, it's Damned here, and today we're going to start building up some damage rolls. And this is going to be done over a couple of videos, as we first do the damage roll, then we look at using out-of-band messaging, so that damage can actually be applied to the target, and then we're going to finesse the roll uh, even further, as we add in some support for some of the other mechanics of the game system. So let's have a quick look at our character. Um, Kanto is going to, she's got to targets Konak and Sonia, and we're just going to do a simple uh, damage roll here. You can see that it's uh, rolled two sets of dice and applied uh, the two sets to the two different targets. And we can see here that we've got the description, uh, the actor. Now it's using the GM icon because I'm doing the roll at the moment, but the attack is with a pistol, so damage roll 2d6, uh, the attack is versus Sonya, or the attack is versus Konak, and the damage in the first instance was 2, and 7 in the second instance. We'll try to strike with the shotgun. So you can see the shotgun uses 4d6, so it's something very similar there, except obviously much more damage. The roll is updated, it's a shotgun, uh, 4d6, and of course the bigger, bigger damage number. So let's go and have a look at how we built, put that together. So firstly, we've got our weapons uh, frame here in the car sheet main, but it's a, a, a list. So the list isn't detailed on this page. We'll go to the weapon detail. So we have a look at the list here, and we can see the list uses weapon detail. So we'll go and have a look at weapon detail. And here we've got all the different elements. So we've got the, the weapon name, um, type of weapons, as in the weapon skill, um, and this red one is our damage dice. So if we uh, click on that one and we go down and have a look at what we've got here, the dice roll is self d6. So you put a two, three, four, whatever the number of d6 that that weapon rolls, you put self d6 in there. The dice roll string, self d6. Um, now we've got here a result handler, manage damage dot notify r damage okay and um, so that's going to run a script notify r damage in the file manager damage okay and that's where we're going to do most of the work today you can also see here the targeting type is each uh, in a previous video I'd set some targeting as all and that did one roll versus all the targets we want a separate roll for each target all right let's go and have a look at the code for that. So the code's not here uh, in the editor. The code is actually going to be in this script file called manage damage. So when you use when you use this feature down here, the dice roll feature, and you include a result handler, it passes three pieces of information to the role, our source, our target, and our role. Don't need to use them all, um, but typically when you're doing combat you want to use elements of all of those. So let's work our way through this. So firstly, we uh, declare a variable node CT. And this is where we get the target's database node in the combat tracker. And we use that using actor manager from CoreRPG.getCT node. It's a CoreRPG function on our target. So that will return the target that has been selected for that character. Next one is uh, we're going to collect the current wounds value of that target. So we're getting the target node in the C for CT node and the subnode HP wounds, hit points wounds. Then we're going to do the same and get the maximum hit points, which is their uh, starting hit points basically. And current hit points isn't stored. Um, on the character sheet at this point in time. It may later on, but for the moment, um, current hit points, um, we are, it's a derived number. So current hit points is, um, we're getting hit points max, and we're subtracting hit points wounds. Now we could do it using these variables, and um, so it's, it could just be uh, n HP max minus n wounds. I've just done the full, um, code there, but we could also, you may need to put a two number in there depending on whether the, the value retrieves as a string or a number by default. 
we're going to declare a new variable in total. Then we're going to iterate through each dice as it lands. So um, using a 2d6 roll and two targets, there's going to be four dice rolled, and but they're going to be in two pairs. So for each target, we'll iterate through each dice. And we're basically doing um, n total, which you initially declared as zero, um, equals itself plus the first dice. And then as it iterates through into the second dice, or and more dice if there are more rolled, are this k value increments. And so we will add one plus four, or three plus six, or five plus two, whatever the device rolls are. And so then we end up with a roll value being stored as n total. We're then going to create a base message. Um, so again, actions manager dot create action messenger action message comes from core RPG, and it looks at our source and our roll. So it doesn't know anything about the target. So our source, um, so it knows who did the roll, and it knows what we rolled. Then we're going to do an if our target. So that means if, so this will return true if there is a target selected for that the attacker. And so if a target has been selected, then we're going to append attack versus target name to the role, just uh, to the role description. So we take the original role description and then we append attack versus the target name. And then we're going to also append the damage. Now this isn't the real damage because this is just the dice roll, but it'll do for the purposes of this video. So we're going to append damage and the number that the dice rolled. And then we're going to use com deliver chat message to deliver that chat message. And let's just do one more sam one more viewing of that in action. So we'll do another pistol attack. Double click the dice. So we can see it's going through. Um, it's building up the chat message here. And it's also summing these dice and storing that as n total, which is being appended to the dice roll here. Six and three, we get nine appended there. So I'll post that code in the comment section. And uh, in the next video, we'll look at doing out-of-band messaging and applying that damage.